Setting up tents or mattresses on private property is and has always been illegal. But a South Austin food truck park owner says homeless camping is a problem that keeps getting worse. KXA's Eugene Cho found out why preventing people from coming back has been so challenging. This food truck owner says she doesn't feel safe walking from her trailer to the dumpster. Okay. Yeah, it really scares her because she comes out this way to throw the trash out and they follow her sometimes, you know, and look to see what's what's going in the dumpster. St. Elmo's backyard is private property. We used to have 11 trailers here. But the park owner, Fernando Latimendia, says many of those trucks have left. Because they can't really operate with all these homeless people coming around. And he told us he's asked them to leave many times. Every single time they get very violent, you know, they get very defensive. Since July, Austin police were called out there five times. But Latimendia says by the time police get there, the homeless are gone, so police can't take action. He also says someone new shows up every time, so it's hard for police to catch those who keep trespassing. I didn't know it was such a process, you know, to try to get somebody off your land. When we came out here Monday afternoon to meet up with a food truck park owner, we didn't see anyone back here, but we saw this car and other items behind the car. We saw clothes, a wagon, and even a mattress. These people are at risk. Okay, and not only are they at risk, but they're putting us, us at risk with their behavior. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. We found out police officers cannot do much in a criminal trespassing case if they are not there when it happens. Austin police say the responding officer has to see the owner give a trespass notice to the suspect. Once that notice is on file, if the trespasser comes back, officers can try to get the person to leave. And if they do not, officers can arrest the person. But police also tell us they want to work with businesses to find a solution. In questions about how police respond to home homeless complaints came up today at the Public Safety Commission meeting. APD's Assistant Chief Joseph Chacon says when it comes to camping, he expects people who are homeless to move when told to. We will give them a reasonable amount of time to go ahead and remove it or to or to remove the obstruction, but the expectation is that the, the compliance is immediate. And so outside of that, if, if we aren't receiving that compliance or we see that compliance is not going to come, then our expectation for the officers is that they're going to take some type of enforcement action, uh, and most of the time that's going to be a ticket. Last week, Police Chief Brian Manley talked about his department's enforcement. Since the homeless ordinances went into effect, you can hear his thoughts over on our website at kxan.com.